Hey there, Reginald. Is everything going okay back here? Please, Roy. Reginald is my mortal name. Given to me by my whore of a mother and my bastard of a father. I go by Broccoli Man. Protector of the Earth's broccoli. Yes, but didn't you get fired from that job? You aren't really protector of Earth's broccoli anymore. I feel kind of funny calling you that. Or oh, you are so droll. I insist you call me Broccoli Man. Yes, my manhood and pride was stolen from me that fateful day when Animal Girl fired me from my post in Sector 1. But she cannot steal who I am. And Roy. I. Am. Broccoli Man. Okay. Whatever the case, Roy, our sector leader has put me on to quite a task. A task that I have no problems in embarking on. For I fear no man. Or fear. Or are. Task. Well, first of all, Broccoli Man, he's not our sector leader, he is our boss, Mr. Dick. So what task has the boss got you on? Well, Master Roy. Mr. Dick told me to come back into this storage room to find a clue. And the clue I will find. For Broccoli Man never lets anything go unnoticed. Whether it be evil or a clue or perhaps something very evil. I'm not following. What did he mean by finding a clue? Well, Mr. Dick and I really aren't seeing eye to eye on my work attire. Yeah, dude, what's up with that? I mean not only do you wear the same outfit every day, you wear a friggin costume to work. With underoos over the top. Let's not ignore the fact that you wear a mask and nobody in the office knows what you really even look like. I don't wear the same one every day. Yeah, yeah you do. I have five of them. Okay I stand corrected then I guess. It doesn't change the fact that you wear tights to work. We work in an office. I'm wearing a suit. Yes. Yes, Roy. And a fine suit it is. But anyway. Every day me and Mr. Dick exchange unpleasantries about my attire. I simply tell him that this is what I wear to the office. Today after our latest spat, he called me an asshole. When I asked him what I should be doing, he told me to work on my savings spreadsheet. I told him I could not do any such thing because my cubicle area is much too small to have the room to spread a sheet open and do whatever it was he wanted me to do to that sheet. So anyway, Mr. Dick then told me to go back in the storage room and find a clue. Well I told him I would make haste, find the clue. And not let him or this fine company of business machines down. Ah, uh, um, ah, uh, I think Mr. Dick was being sarcastic, and meant it in a way too. To motivate me in a way like none other. Oroi. All this time I thought Mr. Dick didn't like me, but now I see he has handed down a great task to me. We roll tonight, Roy, for you and I are going to sail to sights unseen. Love beautiful women like no other. Reap the rewards of man. And reap them we will. We'll take you under my wing and reap them. We. Will. We will reap and prevail in a healthy nutritious way. A nutritious way that this world has never seen. We roll tonight. To the guitar bite. You're a fucking idiot.